Here we have a bowl full of just normal tap water. And then here's the um, capellini pasta. And here, I took some out. And breaking them into two inch pieces. And dropping them in the and we'll see what happens. <laughs> As you can see, they sink. They sink because... The density of water is less than the density of spaghetti at room temperature. Now all of the capellinis have sunk. Four tablespoons of baking soda and four and a half tablespoons of vinegar. We will put them in the bowl. First we'll mix it. To make sure that it is completely saturated. I think that's good. And we have about two inch pieces of capellina that we'll put in to see if they sink or if they stay floating. It looks like they're floating. This is because the density of baking soda and vinegar is greater than the density of spaghetti at room temperature. That is the reason why capellini in baking soda and vinegar float. Egg on the left and with the black dot is the hard boiled egg. The egg on the right with no dot is the raw egg. Now I'm going to spin them. The raw egg spins slower because the fluid inside the raw egg will slide inside the egg as we spin it. So most of the mass of the egg does not attain to the rotational velocity we applied to it. Since most of the mass of the egg is in the fluid, the egg, egg tends to stabilize at a rotational velocity equal to the one of the fluid. The hard boiled egg spun faster and the raw egg spun slower. 